After weeks of protest, New York City leaders cut a deal to bring back the money for libraries. The budget restores $58 million for the city's three library systems. The mayor and city council made the traditional ceremonial handshake agreement this afternoon. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is live at City Hall with more. Janice? Well, Mayor Adams, as well as the city council, of course, touted today the fact that they were able to restore funding to a lot of agencies that were facing budget cuts uh, because last year Mayor Adams announced that every city agency needs to slash their budget in order to make up for the deficit. Now, of course, this is good news for libraries, for instance, who are seeing a restoration in what was assumed going to be budget cuts. Uh, but other advocates say there isn't enough that's being done and more could be done to help New Yorkers. A handshake. To mark an agreement on the 2025 New York City budget. And we got into playing throughout all the turbulence. Many of you who are on board with us thought the turbulence mean the plane was going to sink. No. Adams and Adams United is here to say we have a deal. The $112.4 billion budget restores some of the previous cuts made from housing, art institutions, and libraries. After Mayor Adams announced last November that all city agencies would have to slash their budgets due to the migrant crisis, new union contracts for city workers, and the end of federal funding from the pandemic. But we started early. And because of the actions we did early, we were able to deal with a $7 billion budget deficit that we had to close because we made the right decisions early. The $58 million restored for libraries will allow the more than 200 public library branches to reopen on Sundays, something advocates have been fighting for since last December. Our libraries are among our city's most precious resources. New Yorkers of all ages, you have spoken in every corner of our city, and you came together to protect them. The budget also addresses pre-K and 3K. $100 million will go towards early childhood education and programs. In addition, $20 million will pay for additional spots for three-year-olds, but far short of what's needed to make the 3K program truly universal, something advocates were fighting for. In response, New Yorkers United for Child Care said in part, as child care costs soar, the mayor should be focused on ensuring every family can access free 3K. Instead, the mayor continues to underinvest in this lifeline for working families. This 2025 budget is expected to be passed this weekend. Live outside of City Hall, Janice U, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Janice, thank you.